from ice cream to umbrellas, barbecues to Wellington boots, the weather's influence on what we buy seems straightforward. And for outdoor traders, whatever they're selling, it usually is. And if there's no sunshine, people don't come out, so they don't spend. It's a waste of time when it rains. But it's not just market stall holders who worry about the weather. It's one of the biggest issues facing all retailers. After the general state of the economy and how well off people feel, weather is the, the second most important influence on uh, how people spend. What retailers want is weather that's appropriate for the season, so it's not just a case of warm sunny weather is good, cold weather is bad. The UK's largest supermarket chain has spent many years analysing the weather and how it affects our shopping habits. Even a few degrees in temperature change can have a massive impact on what people buy in store. So we've got a very sophisticated system which has five years worth of weather data and plotted on top of that uh, is product information, sales information on every product in every store or on every day of the week. And that means we can accurately predict exactly how many, for example, melons or kiwi fruits uh, that a customer is going to buy. So let's say there's a four degree increase in temperature from 20 to 24 degrees. Well, they know here that that'll lead to a 42% increase in sales of burgers. It really is that specific. What about a 10 degree rise in temperature over a weekend? Well, that will lead to a 50% increase in sales of coleslaw. However, a 25% decrease in sales of green vegetables. Now, for a company like this, that sort of information is like gold dust. We see very different patterns happening on different days uh, throughout the year. So on a Monday, we see a higher amount of salad that's bought. I think that might be after the weekend when people think, oh, right, I need to be a bit healthier again. Um, so a hot day on a Monday would see higher salad sales than a hot day on a Tuesday, for example. Tesco says its weather software saves the company £6 million a year. Less food is wasted, there are fewer empty shelves. But only a high street giant can afford systems on this scale. Ian Michaelwaite provides weather data for smaller retailers. It's less detailed, but demand is unprecedented. Weather affected sales accounts for around 4.5% of the overall sales. Now in these times, obviously, margins are very lean. That could be the difference. That 4.5% could be the difference between returning a profit for the year or making a loss. Weather and shopping, two national obsessions, interconnected far more than most of us realise. <laughs>